In this quick video guide, we're going to see how we can export models from Maya to Unreal Engine. And in this case, this is Unreal Engine 5. So first thing you need to do, of course, is to create a scene in Maya. And if you're interested in Maya, you don't know how to use it, you can check our video course in uh, the channel and also our other guides about Maya. Same thing about Unreal Engine. So just to do a quick recap, you need to download and install the Epic Games Launcher, then install the Unreal Engine from here, getting the to the download page. And then once you're ready, you click to start here and you're gonna see some options you can create. This is the first person example map. So you can create a basic label that you can use then for this um, tutorial. So I'm gonna export from here from Maya. You have a couple of options to do that. You can go here to file and say, send to Unity, send to Unreal. In this case, we are sending to Unreal. So I'm gonna then uh, have to select if I want to export everything or just the selection. So I'm gonna try the selection first. So I'm gonna see here, I'm gonna type Maya text as the name for this. And you also have options here when you are sending or exporting. You can also create your preset if you want. Now I suggest you do a little bit of tests because sometimes it works and uh, you can export everything. Sometimes things don't get exported. So you just need to decide here a little bit of options. And I also made other exports from for Lumion and other software so I've created some presets here. So once you're ready you get to export selection and um, then you will find down here the directory. So this is this went directly to Maya to Unreal folder import. So be careful where you import and then you can go here you have a couple of options as well you can go file import into level and this is where I've stored the file and say open and uh, you can choose a location here let's um, well I'm just gonna insert this into generic content and still you have some other selections to do And you can see this is a poly surface. And uh, you can import this as a static mesh or skeletal mesh if it has bones and uh, skeletons. And um, okay, this is other options like to generate light maps, which are pretty important. And this is for skeletal mesh and uh, materials as well. Okay, let's go to import. once you have run through all those options and there you go now we have some problems here so we have problems with normals and things like that now let's see here it's looking pretty good except these strange effects but again you should always try to figure out what's the problem now, if I go here in the content browser, I can see the poly surface here and the material. So I'm gonna click it and drag it inside. And probably it's also too small. So I'm gonna scale it. And it's also oriented not uh, in the correct way. So some of these you can set it up in the during the import process. Some you need to figure it out later when you import. Okay, I can see my text there but it's not looking good as in Maya so I should see what's happening here maybe there is some issue with this um, uh, little chamfer and convex shape here so I think I, I would need to re-export or perhaps try to see what's happening here with the smoothing groups so the other way you can export is to go directly to the export selection. And if you click on this little square, you can set up 
some options too. We can also try with the OBJ, sometimes it, it's better. So let's try also this. And let's go here to another folder. I'm gonna call this Maya Text 2 and save it. And you can see that with other uh, objects here, even more complex, I didn't have any issue. So I imported this uh, rigged model, this other model here, these are from renderpeople.com, by the way. So I will leave a link in the description. And this is uh, an object that I have modeled inside Maya and it looks okay. So you really have to work uh, piece by piece. Now I'm gonna import this as well. The other way you can import is directly here in the content browser, clicking on import. And this time it's located into another folder, which is this one here. And there you go. So I'm gonna open it up. And again, just try to understand what's going on here. And let's say import. And let's go back here in the content browser. And this is the new Maya text, which is looking better, I think. So if it doesn't work with one method, you can always try the other. So it depends also on the versions of um, the software that you are using, talking about both Maya and um, Unreal Engine. So this one here looks a little bit better than the one that we imported before. There you go. And still has some issues there with some polygons. So it's really strange. But uh, one additional thing we can do here is when we export to either FBX or OBJ is that we can go into the presets and try to figure out what's causing this issue here. So if I go here, I can go to geometry. Maybe we don't have to smooth the mesh or maybe we can try to triangulate and try to understand if this is gonna help us. And also here sometimes in animation, if you want animated object, you can, you have to bake animation. And so you have a lot of things here to run through. But when you're ready, you can also save a presets. You can call it Maya to Unreal. Say OK. And then you can export again. And let's call this Maya text tree. Now again, for the other models here, it's just the same thing. You should import either for OBJ and uh, FBX formats. Okay, let's do this last test and go to the text tree and open it up. And let's see here. And convert scene unit, that's, that's okay. Material, there is no issue with that, FBX information. Okay, looks okay. Let's import. Okay, now always read here. Now I've uh, taken off the smoothie group just to see if those were the ones causing the problem. And it actually looks better now. So as you can see, it is just a matter of going through different um, options, test things out and eventually you will find the, the problem. And this looks much better now. Okay, so this will be all for this video guide. I hope you enjoyed and that it will help you working with Maya and Unreal Engine. So if you have some more uh, questions, you can, if you need assistance, you can type it in the comments uh, below the video. And also, if you want, you can write your suggestions for other users. And also, please subscribe to the channel to support us. If you want to support us more, you can join as a supporter. And uh, thanks to that, we can make more videos. 
and courses about this really amazing software. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video guide.